Okay, so I have this kind of little pad um, PayPal link and uh, today I wanted to program something a bit different for it so you should be able to see basically the process for this but the end result um, in my past experience has been something like this. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, um, I'm going to be trying to do something for um, black and gold today. So I played this tune on bass the other day and it was a, as part of a three piece band. And since we didn't have um, a synth player, I was kind of missing this part of it, which is probably my favorite part. I think I'm going to build this down here, the actual synth part first. So, um, I guess the most important part of this is to have some idea of what it is that you're wanting to achieve and then also kind of what key you're going to be in. Uh, I like the sound of the sawtooth wave both, the best is what I'm trying to say. Um, now if we bypass it. I'm going to take the overall level down. Uh, the other thing that I want to do So that's snapshot one. Um, snapshot two, I'm going to move that highest note. And the one before it as well. And this one needs to be snapshot five. This is going to be the bit which is a bit trickier. Um, no. Command center. Snapshot five. That foot switch two is what I want, then, isn't it? And then 
six. But I need to correct these for all of them. And we can bypass that here. So now we have uh, wait, do we want that button? Um, but I might want to put it on snapshot recall so that we can um, have any of these others re-trigger the synth. Uh, so if I go into global settings, uh, preferences, snapshot edits, discard, then uh, that should be. It re uh, basically discards any snapshot edits so that you basically then end up with the synth re triggering anytime you press any of these other snapshots. Now, um, let's just add in a bit of a preset up here, I guess. Um, we'll go with Derailed Ingrid. The one thing that we are going to be missing is a bit of foot switching capability, but that is kind of fine, probably. Uh, right. Uh, reverb. Put stereo. Let's put the shimmer on. This could be fun. Uh, take the intensity down. Mix down a bit. And. 
okay up a bit diffusion way up damping up uh, just move that way okay then we get and if we turn the channel volume back up um, what else do we want um, delay stereo we'll use the glitch delay that can give us a nice bit of sparkly stuff as well uh, for going to be on for all. and we put a gain block here uh, let's go down a drive all the gain assigned to here bypass and we want to then um, if we go into action, snapshot bypass off, so that this will stay on, depend independent of snapshots. And then I'm just going to take the level on this down a bit more, and maybe even spruce it up a bit. Uh, copy block, paste block, and we could possibly even. I could run this path into this one. Let me think about this. Action. Path 2A. Then stick a looper here. Stereo looper. Six switch. But we're going to have to assign that on this other page here. Okay, and I might just put this down here. And send no dry through here. So that then anything that we're affecting the pitch with is only going to affect the pitch generator or the synth. And then we've got like an independent path. Let me try this, let's see. Um, that I don't want there, do I? Action. Down to there. So now, lost that. It should be not bypassed for snapshot six. So that's it. And save. And it should not be bypassed for note one. Obviously. Why is that still so 
wet. That shouldn't, oh, it's because it's passing dry signal when it's bypassed. So when this is bypassed, also want it to let's just put a gain block here. Um, um, gain, where are you? Volume pan, mono, gain, yeah, gain, um, and then assign this to that one. Okay, then when we press that. Now what will happen once we actually get this crack in? Okay, that's fine on this end. A little bit of that mix back in. And cool, right then. We want it to be exactly the opposite bypass. Cool one. So that's how I would set up that kind of cool little synth part. Um, one, two, three, four. Nice, yeah, so, sorry, that's a bit of a, a, a long video, but that's kind of how you can build some cool stuff with these pads. Um, it's a little bit of a, a mission, but I think the results could be worth it, depending on your purpose. Um, obviously, the limitation is the amount of snapshots, and, yeah, I guess you could just do a cycle through on one foot switch, um, if it's always going to be the same sequence. Um, in this kind of way 
So if we went into our command center, um, that's not what I want. Command center, action, not how we get there. That is this one down here, uh, HX snapshots, next. Then you could do it like this. But unless you have eight snapshots, then you're gonna run into issues because you've got two of the same snapshots or two snapshots that we hadn't programmed in as chords there. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to drop this into the pads folder to play around with. Of course, it could be used for anything other than Sam Sparrow as well. I'll catch you in another video soon. Um, that's just one little use for the three note synth generator. Cheers.